You have seen cool animated NFTs such as for example Invisible Friends and you have been wondering how to do them then you clicked on the right video because today I am going to show you guys how to create these with using some really simple websites and then of course uploading it to OpenSea. So if this video helps you out make sure to leave a like and to subscribe and without further ado let's get right into the video. Okay, first of all, we obviously need some kind of character we want to animate. And for that, I'm just going to search free Blender model so that we can animate that. You can take your own file too. That just has to be a .obj file and then you can use that too. So if you create that in Blender, that works fine too. It doesn't take much time. Maybe watch a video on that and then you will have a character yourself but you can totally just get a character here too so i'm just going to go on this website i will probably link it below free 3d now we just click on the link as easy as that and here we got some nice items so as we guys can see we have already some figures here we want something like that so I'm just going to scroll through here. Okay, actually I have decided to use this one because that is just, because I just like the model a bit better. So I'm just going to get this one. So just click on download here, just do the same thing when you have found a model and then just download the zip file. And yeah, and then we can basically just put it on our desktop. And now we can just open the zip file, obviously. Then we will sh get a folder, just like that. And here we got our files in here. So we got the OBJ file right here. Now what we wanna do is we got that. So we want to go to the website we are going to animate this on. So just go to Google or your search engine and then search for something that is called Mixamo. This is Mixamo. Just click on that first link, then it's going to load this site. Here we want to sign up for free. As I said, it's completely free here. So just click on that sign up button and then we have to create an account. So I'm just going to use Google here. Just click on the Google icon and then we can log in with our Google account. Apparently I already have an account so I'm just going to confirm it But that's as simple as that if you just click on the Google icon and then log in with your Google account You will get on there and now I just logged in so I just have to accept these terms Just like that and we will get back to Mixamo Okay, now that we are on Mixamo we want to go ahead and upload a character so we will just upload our obj file that we have downloaded. So just go on here and put that in there. Just like that, it's uploading now, so just wait. And now we got a character in here, as you guys can see. So I'm just going to rotate him to see how yeah, that works. So that is great. Now we will just click on next. So now that we are here, we just have to match these dots to our model. So just put the wrists where the wrists are at, the elbows where the elbows are at, obviously. And just like that, we will create a nice character then. Just like that, I've matched it. Now we will click on next again. Now it's just rigging the character, so we will have to wait for that to finish. And just like that, you can see it has finished. Now it's already applying our default animation, but now we can click on next and choose our own animations here from the tab right here. So we can, for example, we can take this dance animation right here and I think that looks quite great how he's dancing. So I'm just gonna take that and then we will just, yeah, you just choose the one you think is best for you. 
I will take that because it's really not moving as much and looks really great. So just click on download if you have found your animation and then we will go ahead and go back into Blender afterwards. So here we are just going to select the format and we are going to use the FBX binary. Then frames per second 30, that is great. Keyframe reduction none. And I don't even know what that is. So we are just gonna say that it's with skin. And just like that, we can go ahead and download it. And it is downloading it. And just like that, it has downloaded already. That was really fast. I expected it to take a little bit longer, but that is great, you know? So we are just gonna drag this on our desktop again. Okay, so now that we have our FBX file right here, we can go ahead and open Blender. So just get Blender in here, Blender and open that. And then we will move on from there. So just choose the general file and then I'm just gonna put it on full screen now. So now what we wanna do first is delete this cube because we obviously don't need that. Uh, and then, yeah, then we have the scene. Now, what we wanna do is import our FBX file. So we just go to import up here and then to FBX. Then we will go here and we got our Roomba dancing FBX that we just have created and are going to click import. Okay, so I noticed that the file is pretty small um, that it's always putting it like in the smallest version in here but that is no problem because we will just zoom in zoom in with two fingers or like click on this one zoom in and then we will try to make it bigger by just selecting all of this and then just click over here on the scale tool and then we will scale that up and get every single dimension so that it's not a flat surface but it stays the same so something like that should be fine just get the dimensions right and then we can maybe click on the spacebar to play it one time and see if that works and as you guys can see that looks good So what we want to do now is, as you guys can see, if I click the spacebar now, it's too many frames because it stops, if we pull it up, it stops right around 70 here. So I want it to end at 70, so I'm just going to go in here and put in 70 instead of that. Or maybe then if it's ended at 70, I'm going to put 71 and then it should be fluent. Now we will see if that works or not. And as you guys can see, it's pretty fluent up here and I like it. So just like that, we have a nice animation created. Now if we want to like make things look even better for our export now, I'm just going to add a background. So what we are going to do is go up here, go on the mesh and then on plane. And just like that, we have a plane that we are going to, first of all, just pause that so that we can move things again now we got a plane I'm just gonna scale it that is our floor the person is standing on I'm just gonna scale it really big so that the camera over here if we just click on camera definitely gets the floor just like that and then we will add another plane for our background so just add plane again scale that and then I'm just gonna rotate that now we want to obviously if we click on the camera right here we can see the camera placement is off so I'm just going to move the camera now so that with that we're just going to select the camera and then we are going to move it Oh, we have got this the wrong thing selected. Just like that, we got this camera selected. Then I'm just gonna move it over here. Now we need to rotate that. And move it up a bit maybe. 
and then we can just always double check up here how the placement is now we move to move it out as I can see from the footage just like that then we will move it up again move it a bit further out so just do this until you are happy with the placement now I just click on roll and I think that looks really good and just like that we have a nice you know animation now I'm just gonna add a color to the background obviously this um, animated figure it will have a color if you selected a model that was colored before so I just chose this white thingy for like explanation but if you have uh, your own character that has like all these different textures on it that will have the textures in here too so but now we will just add some color to the plane for that I'm just going to go here add a new material that always takes some time so okay just like that we will select our base color now I don't know where my mouse is at so for the ground I'm just going to use some plain like gray I guess something like that something like that and then for this background one we will just use any color you guys like so I'm just going to use blue now then I will check with my camera and that looks great so I will just yeah use that now and now we are ready to render so now we have to get some settings right before we render so go in here on this icon right here output properties click on there and we will scroll down okay here for the output tab we have to put some kind of location and I'm just going to put my desktop here that's the easiest so just put your desktop here or whatever folder you want this animation to be in then then we will go on here to file we obviously don't want a PNG but we want to render a video so just go on the video and then go down here again on encoding then go on MPEG4 that's just MP4 that's how we want our file to be and the rest you can just leave like that that looks good like quality you can choose if you want a very low quality high quality I'm just going to go with medium quality now and then we are basically ready to render this whole thing so now I'm just going up here again to file at render and then go to render animation and yeah then this whole thing will render so just click on that and then it will take like some minutes now we will just wait and then I will be back when it's done rendering and then I will show you how we can upload this to OpenSea and turn it into a real NFT. So it just stopped rendering. Now we can go ahead and close this and this we will just minimize quickly and here we got our mp4 file that we've just rendered now that I've seen that I can close blender so I'm just going to save this project okay so now obviously we have an mp4 format and we want to have a gif format so that the animation is playing consistently on the display so that it's really like animated and dancing the whole time for that it's pretty simple we are just going to go to our browser again that we are using so just go on Google and search video to gif and then we will get here and we will use the Adobe service for this this is really good um, and it's free so just click on here and they will create a gift for us from this video so now that we are in here just go on upload your video that's pretty simple and then we can drag our file in here so just minimize that and then drag the file in here now we can just double check 
that everything is right and this looks great so we are going to say file size I'm just going to go with medium again and then we are going to download this now it will take some time again and just like that our video has been turned into a gif and we can move on now we will go on to OpenSea so just search that up and here we will click on the create button obviously and then we should be he right here so maybe you have to log in but that is really done really fast so you should be right here now we want to drag in our file so our gif file we're just gonna put in there and as we can already see is we got this dancing model right here and it's a consistent display of this gif and that's just great now you've heard it all we just have to name it again i'm just gonna call it dancing model something like that <laughs> then you will get an external link in here if you have a link description i'm just gonna skip that now but you can maybe if you really want to sell this just make a nice description so that buyers really get to know this piece of art then the collections part we are going to skip again because this is not a collection obviously then supply one that's self-explanatory and the blockchain i will use polygon again because as you guys can see it's a fast and gas free blockchain and i think that's just great so then we will just go ahead and click on create if we are here so create and just like that, you can see we have created our dancing model NFT, as simple as that, animated NFT, really fast. You just have to have like some kind of character, you can even download one from the internet for free, and then just put it into Blender and this website, and you can really create lots of different animations, like lots of different dances, moves and that stuff, so that is just great. So you guys saw how easy it was. I would really recommend implementing this if you want to create an NFT because like animated NFTs, they are kind of more new than the other NFTs. So maybe try that. And yeah, if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions regarding this video or something else, just hit me up in the comment section and I will try to reply. And with that said, I will hopefully see you guys next time. Go create some NFTs and bye.